Okay, now we're in the living room slash bar area that I'm going to clean. So I'm going to turn on my lamp for my plants. And I'm going to start wiping down our bar, bar stools. Now here's our bar stools. They're pretty cool. They're called bottle top bar stools. I have my that lamp up there. I have that taped up because I haven't had the chance to have my husband look at it and put it up properly. But I have a couple plants that need a certain amount of sunlight when they're growing and rooting. So I have to have this on. So anyways, I'm going to wipe all these down because my kids my kids like to slobber pick their nose <laughs> and uh, get their fingerprints and stuff all over these bar stools especially my two year old he loves to do that so have coca-cola like everything because I love coca-cola <laughs> so wiping down the countertops here and I suggest wiping your countertops down before you vacuum a lot of people know that already but some people like don't know that kind of stuff and the, and the reason why you want to wipe countertops down before you vacuum is because there's probably crumbs and dust on your countertop. So when you're wiping it down, you're going to get it on the ground. And then you'll have to vacuum all over again. Unless you're not into that kind of thing. So there is my clean countertop. Hold on a second the chairs back one second okay now I'm going to clean my coffee table that's how it sounds when a woman cleans her house so here's my countertop all clean bar stools clean coffee table wiped down now I'm on to vacuuming so one minute okay on to vacuuming my couch and my living room
don't like picking up their wires or organizing their game stuff. So I always tell them if your stuff gets broke when I'm cleaning, I don't know what to tell you. But hold on a second. I'm going to finish the rest of this vacuum and get <laughs> finish, finish vacuuming the rest of this living room and then I'm going on to the next room, which would be the kids' bathroom. 